After a weekend of success in Canmore, four members of the Italian team were treated to a surprise celebration in the USA. I hope it's a surprise what we will get and especially something other than a normal food for all athletes. So after winning on Saturday, this is your normal transportation. <laughs> <laughs> that would be nice, yeah. <laughs> So how was the trip from Canmore? Did you realize it was 4,300 kilometers from Calgary to here? 4,000? Yeah. Okay, that's long. It's <laughs> also not the whole coast to coast. From the west coast to the east coast. That that's true? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> from the west coast to the east coast. <laughs> Jessica is going to be your cocktail each hey. night, and that's Tia. So we have a table set up for you. So what was the most fun training this summer? It's just too long away. Yeah. <laughs> When we went to Goka to drive Goka, yeah, to Goka. Ramsa. Ah, that was fun. Ramsa. We was beating Patrick, you know. That yeah. was the most important, that was the most important thing. <laughs> From the Lumho. Because he is a really bad driver, but he didn't know it, did. or he don't want to know it. That but is the he was the only who was hurt by the end of yeah. our cook. <laughs> he crashed with the cook. <laughs> the mixed relay. So now you have this Olympic medal. Is that almost like a burden that you have around all the time? Because now everyone expects you to be pretty good when you start the mixed relay. That's a problem. <laughs> sometimes. <laughs> ah, it's, sometimes it's really strange because it's much more pressure, you know. It's not that uh, everybody wants now something. And if you make maybe fourth or fifth, it's not any more good, you know. But they, some people don't realize that we are in the top of the world, you know, in the World Cup. So. Do you feel like you're under a lot of pressure going into the World Championships this year? Yes and no, but um, otherwise we can't do nothing. We tr for sure we are trying to make to to be in good shape there. We make a training camp before Oslo, and then we will see how in which shape we are. Do you put more pressure on yourself than other people do? You are always expecting more and more, and you are not any more happy with a fifth place or tenth place, you know. Really was. That's good. Did you enjoy your meal? Really it was crazy. It was very yeah. too much American style. Yeah. Thank you very much. I'm being so full. <laughs> I can't, you know, I, it's very really difficult to breathe now. It's like... <laughs> now we have the energy for the weekend. Yeah. Hopefully. <laughs> Is the future bright for Italian biathlon these days? Brighter than it was 10 years ago? I think we have to keep on working. The women showed us what is possible in the races, so women has to work maybe more next year's <laughs> to come back also like them. The level is growing up every year, so I think if you stop working, you will not increase anymore your own level, so it's impossible to do nothing. 
trainers you need always, for example. That's I think that that's one of the most important things that are, that they will help you to to rec to come back from mistakes, from faults, or I don't know everything which is going in on the wrong side. Is that well? That's part of the thing, like with Patrick, because he has this positive attitude. Finally, everybody is positive yeah. from the stuff. So, if not, they wouldn't do the the job. Do I hear that? the most important part and maybe the biggest reason for success is that you're all having fun. That's for sure. You can fix it uh, more times, you can fix more hours maybe, when you, are, you enjoy every moment. So I think that's the key for, for good results and to be, to be always there with more energy than normal one. Dominic, can you describe Doro in two words. <laughs> two words. Powerful. <laughs> <laughs> and only good things, okay? <laughs> I have a thing. No, I can't say it. <laughs> say it. Sorry, I can't say it in front of the camera. <laughs> Is it so worse? <laughs> so Luki, how how would you describe him? Dominic. Uh, focused and he has his own way to to come to to solution. Uh, he's individual and focused. How about Karen? How would you describe your teammate there? Secret. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, she is uh, make a lot of uh, things. She's concentrated and uh, not only biathlon but uh, all the life she has uh, in his enjoy enjoy. And, and crazy. And crazy, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I, I found my second word. <laughs> <laughs> so you can throw that back at Karen. I think um, she's focused, really focused, and also calm, calm person, I think. <laughs> <laughs>